Hello travelers and welcome to another video. I'm still in Jerez de la Frontera and behind me through those trees is the Alcazar. And if we come down these stairs, which I did, and go through here guys, right across the street. Let me turn the camera around. You can see that we have the cathedral. And this is the cathedral of Jerez. It looks like we also have some kind of winery here. I see the Tio Pepe symbol. You also see this in Madrid, it's quite famous. I even saw someone get a tattoo one time, guys, on uh, Instagram. And it says, Gonzalez Bias. So I guess this is Tio Pepe. So it's Uncle Pepe. That is what it means in English. So this is the man, I guess, that started this whole Tio Pepe factory. And you can see here, there is an inscription. It looks like Manuel Gomez something. And he died in 1887. Hard to see his birthday there. So let's walk through here and let's go take a look at the cathedral. Oh, and just on time, they're playing the chimes. And we've got this nice little park here. Look at these trees, guys. They're just lovely here. Isn't that great? So we're overlooking a plaza and then the cathedral, guys. Look at that. And a huge palm tree here. So let's go down and take a look. Let's go on down and take a look at what we find. Okay, so we head on down the stairs here. And we get to this little plaza here. Looks like we have some checkers. Almost like a chessboard. That is kind of nice. We have the cathedral here. We have another building with a large tower. Look at that. That is quite interesting. This is the main attraction here. Look at this. Okay, so here's some information on the cathedral. The Red Cathedral is a beautiful building from the 17th century, which combines Gothic, Baroque, and neoclassical styles and stands above the earlier Great Mosque of Jerez and the Old Church of El Salvador. The chapels of La Inmaculada, El Sagrario, and Las Animas stand out inside, the latter dedicated to the famous Cristo de la Viga from the 14th century. So very interesting there guys. The bell tower which is outside was possibly built over the minaret of the old mosque of Jerez de la Frontera. So I guess they're talking about that. The bell tower is actually outside. So we're looking at a 17th century church here guys. It is fantastic. Cathedral. It's a little bit windy here guys. The price of admission is only 5 euros so that is quite cheap. And let's take a look again guys. Some of the engravings there. Some of the sculptures there. Very detailed work there. And that is interesting how the bell tower is on the outside. So how about that? Looks like we have some kind of bishop or pope there. Probably a pope. We've got the sun behind him. This is an active street. We've got cars coming through here. Let's take a look here and see what this man is here. Definitely looks like a pope to me, or a bishop. And it says Juan Pablo II, Jerez. So again, I believe it is a pope, Juan Pablo II. Great area here, guys. Look at this, kind of going down. You can go down further. You can see how the street kind of goes down here. This is a very large cathedral. Kind of surprised about the size. It was built on a former church, according to what I read. And that is common here in Spain or in Europe. They build on top of the old, look at that door, guys. That is, seen some age on that. I just love that. You know, that is original. And this is the bell tower here. So it is apart from the actual cathedral. So let's walk around here. And let's take a look, guys. Admire this church. It does have that Gothic style here. We've got some more tourists here. This looks like it is the front side. I guess we worked our way around, guys. We were on the back side. And it's actually a pretty warm day here still, guys, in Jerez. It's pretty good for the fall. Look at that, guys. That is amazing. Look at that. I love that. 
and you've got those arches on either side those half arches that is quite nice guys wow you've got to admire that look at the size of these doors you can see the one there and then this one here let's walk up the stairs and get a closer look here that door there wow it has to be 25 feet tall so what is that about 10 or 12 meters it's quite large we've got an angel there we've got some carvings here along the side of the walls here the columns look at that and we've got a smaller door here on either side there is a smaller door I wonder if the thrones actually leave from here guys because I know that they celebrate Semana Santa here Holy Week as well there's the bell tower so you've got these uh, like ramps going up so they must serve some kind of purpose maybe like I said for Holy Week but it seems hard to believe that they could bring that thing down those stairs unless they can go around the side but definitely some kind of ramps here going up and another look again at this marvelous cathedral here in Jerez let's explore the neighborhood around here a little bit let's take a look here something coming up here it almost looks like a mausoleum someone is entombed there and they're supposed to be in Arabic bath around here a hammam so let's walk, walk around here guys, walk around this neighborhood and see if we can find that or anything else interesting. According to my map, I'm supposed to take a left up here and I'm gonna go by this Arab bath. And it looks like the street is closed off, of course. But there's another way in there. It's supposed to be down there, I believe. And that is closed off as well, guys, wow. And we are in Plaza del Arroyo. That is the name of the street. This uh, street here is aptly named Cruces, Crosses. There's a large building here too. Look at this. Some kind of large building here. It looks like it is undergoing some kind of construction. Oh, it looks like we can go through here. So maybe we can make it through here, guys. And what is this building? They're doing some uh, repair on this. Of course, they're doing this all over Spain, like I said, since the pandemic. I've never seen so much refurbishment going on since the pandemic. Let's see if there's a sign here. Work in progress. Doesn't really say what it is. Well, let's see if we can walk down here and see that era bath, or maybe you can't go in. I don't know. Let's let's take a look, guys, and we can also see that tower from here. Look at that! Wow, that is impressive. Seeing it from here. In the distance, you can get a scope of how large the cathedral is. Absolutely massive. That is nice, guys. Look at that. Let's just take a view of that for a second and appreciate that. And I believe this street is closed. This is where we're supposed to go, unless we can sneak through here. So my map is showing me some kind of hammam, which are Arabic baths. I guess this is it. This must be it here. No, this is something else, guys. So interesting there. The map is showing me, but I don't see anything. It should be right here. Okay, guys, so this actually is the Hammam. I didn't realize that. I see it now on the on the door. Hammam Andalus Banos Arabes, which are Arabic baths. I saw this here, which is the root of wine and brandy so I thought it was some kind of restaurant but it actually is it should have a bigger sign guys actually but it is the hammam so these are the Arabic baths in there well I wonder what that costs there is uh, something here it says to knock on the door and they will attend to you so that would be very cool guys to do that one day to go into the Arabic baths Okay, so I was looking at the prices online, guys. The cheapest thing I saw was like 85 euros, I believe it was. And it is, you get 60 minutes, I believe, inside of the bath and then a 30 minute massage. So that's not too bad, but it seemed to be mostly focused on ladies here. The pictures I saw were all of women. 
and most of the services were around 100 euros. So let's walk around here through a little neighborhood here in Jerez. Let's go through one of these uh, back alleys, if you will. Hopefully we don't find anything dodgy, guys. <laughs> let's hope not. And this is for sale here, guys. Here you go, you're looking for a place in Jerez. Looks like it's for sale. We've got some motorcycles here on the street. Uh-oh. I hope there's no motorcycle gangs around here, guys. Uh-oh. You know me, I like an adventure. So it just looks like a dead-end street almost. Okay, so I guess we'll go back to the main street, or one of them. I do hear some people inside these uh, apartments here. I wonder if there are any dodgy areas of Jerez, I really don't know. I think it's pretty tranquil around here, guys. Pretty calm. Looks like they're doing some construction here. Yeah, definitely. This is the center, cultural center of Lola Flores. Wow, how about that guys? That ties into our, my previous videos. So they're building a cultural center for Lola Flores. Obviously Lola Flores is big news here in Jerez. She is a big star here in town. You can see that, people love flamenco here. I think you've seen some of my other videos here in town. And what do we have here? Let's continue our little trek here. Let's see what we can find. What do you think, guys? Come along with me. Okay, so according to my map, this is the Plaza de Bailin. You can see it here. And look at this, guys. I like this. We have some nice artwork here. And this definitely looks like a family neighborhood. So look at this. This is some nice artwork here. So maybe some of the mothers in the area. That's what it looks like from the countryside it almost looks like well maybe those are the traditional dresses from the countryside they all seem to be wearing the same clothes and this is kind of nice here guys look at we have some water flowing it almost looks like it's set up for some kind of shows place for kids to play you see the cathedral in the background. Okay, so I climbed up these stairs here and there appears to be a man or someone here working on this mural. Look at this, guys, wow. You actually get to see in action. He's actually painting this mural right now. How about that? That is cool, guys, check it out. Oh, he's hanging something. Okay, guys, I thought he was painting it. Anyway, it's a beautiful mural. We're in Calle or Street Luis de Yas Is Isase. And look at that, guys. Look the nun there. I thought he was painting, but he's actually putting something up. <laughs> so I'm still walking through these uh, back streets, guys. And I do see a lot of buildings that are kind of in bad condition. Look at that. You can see all the way back through there. So there's a, quite a few old buildings here in Jerez and they have not been maintained. You can see this one obviously, but I just see this walking through a lot of these streets here. You've kind of got these uh, dilapidated buildings. Of course, you've got some that are actually nice as well. Like take a look here in the corner. Then you have one like this that has seen better days. So if someone actually wanted to buy one of these and try to restore it, it might be a project, guys. And I have a feeling that they would not be that expensive here. Here is a bar called La Gitania. La Gitana is a gypsy, little gypsy. I think so, guys. So we're coming out, I guess. 
about where we started it looks like looks like i did a little circle here look at this we've got some uh yes we did go through here we got some more dilapidated buildings so i just did a little loop around today guys but i hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you in the next one a travel addict a guy take care everyone